Modern businesses need to manage not only the identities of their employees, but also the identities of customers, partners, and things. Find out how to manage customers in this episode of Who's There? Welcome to Who's There, a show where we explore cloud identity. Today, I am talking about the app management facet of cloud identity, which is called Identity Platform. Identity Platform lets you manage the identities of customers, partners, and things through a single service. It adds Google-grade identity and access management functionality to your apps and services. With Identity Platform, you can add a widely adopted, user-friendly, and customizable authentication service to your web and mobile apps with ease, so you can focus on building your app or service. It supports multiple authentication methods, including SAML, OIDC, email password, social, phone, and custom auth to provide flexible integration options for any identity solution. You can access cloud identity through a range of app SDKs for Android, iOS, and web, as well as server-side admin SDKs for Node.js, Java, Python, and more. To get your app up and running even faster, Identity Platform provides a drop-in, customizable authentication service for user sign-up and sign-in. When Google Cloud built Identity Platform, we wanted to meet the demands of virtually any app or service. That's why it's built on Google Cloud's global scale, performance, network, and security. And it comes with an enterprise-grade support in SLA. You can secure user accounts and scale with confidence as it protects your app's users and prevents account takeovers by integrating with Google's intelligence for account protection. OK. I think I've spent enough time telling you why Identity Platform is awesome. Let's dive into how to configure it for your Google project. Before you get started, you need to have a GCP project for which you are a project owner, with billing enabled for that project. Once your project is ready to go, you can enable Identity Platform from the GCP Marketplace. Go to the Identity Platform Marketplace page in the GCP console. Turn on Identity Platform by clicking Enable Identity Platform. Next, navigate to the GCP console. You are now ready to start using Identity Platform client and admin SDKs for your apps and services. After you enable Identity Platform, you can configure authentication methods so that your users can sign into your applications and services. I'll choose to enable email password for this example. Now you know how to get Identity Platform up and running. So what comes next? You can use Identity Platform client SDKs for Android, iOS, and web to allow end users to authenticate your service. You can also use its server side with the admin SDK to migrate users or customize user access level. And there's a command line option for migrating users to Identity Platform. To find out how to complete these tasks and more, check out the documentation link below. You can also check out the Getting Started videos for iOS, Android, and web, and the admin SDKs right here on the Google Cloud YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Who's There? Be sure to subscribe to the channel to be the first to know about new episodes of the series.